Okay, James, huge congratulations. British champion again, how are you feeling? Thank you, yeah, great, great. It's so nice to be back competing after a really difficult year last year with injuries, and so yeah, it's, it's great, it was brilliant. Cheers. Tell me about the series, that winning throw, 75-9-9, how, how was it for you? Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was a bit of a nervy start, uh, and then got to throw out 73 in the second round, sort of settled the nerves, and I knew there was more in the tank, because it just didn't feel like I could quite hit it right. And then as soon as I got a good one, yeah, it's about 75-99, so yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's been a great month for you, hasn't it? You PB'd early, early in the month as well. How, how's, this, how's this all come about for you? Um, yeah, it's, exactly. So, you know, it's my first competition back after, after a lot of injuries. So, um, yeah, it's great to be back. Uh, with just short, it's a short space of time from throwing my PB and just sort of ticking over and keeping going and building on from that. Yeah, how, yeah, how special is it coming back from 2019? Obviously a difficult year. How special is it to now be standing around with that medal around your neck? Yeah, uh, it's amazing. I mean, you know, at the time, you're, it's, you're never sure what, what the future holds when you have an injury. So... Yeah, it's just keeping going and never stopping believing, even if you really feel like it doesn't look like you can see any success, just keeping going and then you can get there, get back to exactly where you were before. This is amazing. Building now into 2021, you know, what are you aiming to achieve in that year? Um, really, it would just be more, um, you know, a few adjustments to the training, not setting myself any sort of um, distance goals as such, just trying to work on the process and tweak a few things with the technique, I think, and um, yeah, just see what next year brings.